Welcome to the journey. For each of us, being in an extended lockdown as we are means something different. While we may be convinced of its necessity on an intellectual level, it doesn't take away from the feelings we might be experiencing and the fact that each of us processes our feelings in a different way. And our feelings will vary. Feelings of being powerless, of anxiety, of being restricted or disconnected, the fear of what will come. Some of us may feel angry. Others of us may feel grief that special events that normally bring families together or friends together cannot happen. I know, for example, of two children's birthdays that have had to be cancelled because of this lockdown. Those living alone may feel a deep sense of loneliness. On the other hand, there may be times when we feel grateful that we have the space and time that we have during this lockdown. Maybe the solitude that we so often crave and desire and just don't realize or get is a gift that we are grateful for at this time. But today I want to reflect on how we process difficult feelings. Some of us tend to put a lid on our feelings, thinking that we can move away from them, but they don't go away. All that happens is they simmer underneath the surface and come out in ways perhaps which are unhelpful. Others of us get stuck in a place of feeling overwhelmed and our emotions are just too much. We might get sucked into a negativity and eventually begin to feel depressed. Others of us may shout and scream and slam doors and then the emotion is out, so to speak. Others go quiet. They give us the silent treatment, but something is going on inside of them. One way of processing our feelings, which can be very helpful, is to write them down, to journal them. It helps us to get the feelings out and onto a page, to articulate them, to write them so that we can see them and own them. And how do we do this? It's very simple. First, take some time and find a space where you can actually do this. And best if you're uninterrupted. That isn't always possible because there are children and other people at home. But find a space. Find a notebook and a pen, or even if you don't have one, just a piece of paper. And keep that safe once you've written. You don't want to throw it away. You want to keep that safe once you've written those emotions out. Then, to use a metaphor, just pour out your feelings on the page. The journal becomes a safe place to express any feelings that you have, no matter how difficult those feelings are. You know, friends, research in the last few years have shown us that journaling is a process that can really help us to externalize difficult emotions. But it, uh, it has other benefits as well. It can help our immune system and our overall physical and emotional resilience. This is what we are learning as people practice this. Another way of doing this is first thing in the morning when you wake up. Instead of reaching for your phone, first pick up your pen and your journal or a piece of paper and just allow a flow of consciousness to leave you and to fill a page. They say that we can fill an A4 page, one and a half sides. Don't worry about spelling or grammar or whether you uh, make sense or even if you make mistakes. Simply just dump all that you are feeling onto that page. Dump your mind onto that page. This is a journaling technique that was developed by a lady called Julia Cameron, and it's sometimes called the morning pages. It's almost like clearing out that pond scum that you find at the bottom of a pond from the surface of your mind. 
And if you do this for a few days in a row, you will feel a much greater sense of clarity, a much greater sense of peace and integration. You might also find it helpful to write a letter to God at this time, sharing how you feel at this time. And then allow yourself to imagine God's response to you in the form of a letter that you yourself could even write. You know, God speaks to us in and through our imaginations. And this can be a very powerful way to know what God might be saying to you at this time. And so, don't bottle up those emotions. Don't be afraid of them. But rather, make friends with a pen and a page. And just notice how serenity will return to you slowly if you do this as a regular practice.